Hello once again. Um, technical difficulties earlier. I know we went from drying our hair and putting in our leave-in conditioner and now I have two strand twist in my hair. Um, the steps that were missed in my video, uh, my camera went out actually, is that I mixed the two products that I mentioned earlier together and that is my curl scrunch gel as well as my fiber gum putty. I mixed both of those together and I also added my Chi Silk Infusion Oil. So when I mix products, I like to have a base that's like a pudding and then I also like to have a base that's um, like a gel for hold and then I like to also add the oil which helps to minimize the crunchiness of the gel. So what I did is I used a mixing bowl that's used for mixing dyes and perms, but we're natural, so just dyes. <laughs> I mixed in maybe about two spoonfuls of the fiber gum and about two spoonfuls of the crunch gel, a little too. And then I just added a little bit of oil and I mixed it with my spoon and I applied it to the section of my hair. So um, I'm going to show you how much product I use when I do the two strand twist and here my hair is now dry so I'm going to wet it again with a mixture of um, water and a little bit of leave-in conditioner in my spray bottle because if you use the product on dry hair when it dries you do have a little bit of a film left on the hair um, which can be minimized by adding oil to the two strand twist before you take it apart but for those of you who don't like a lot of product in your hair it's best to make sure that your hair is well saturated before you add the styling product so I'm just going to take a section of hair here and I'm going to add some product so you can either sometimes I'll add it to the entire section pull it all the way through or I'll add it to the section that I'm about to twist. So I'm going to add it to the entire section, pull it all the way through from root to tip, like so. Okay, just going to part section here with my fingers and I'm going to proceed with twisting my hair. So as you can see, um, Make sure I twist and pull the strands and when I get to the very end, I don't keep twisting, I just wrap it around my finger for the end there. Very easy. Once again, I'm going to get a section of hair. Start at the root, we're pulling and not pulling too much, not too much tension on the hair, but just enough to Start the twist at the root and just have an even twist throughout and then when we get to the ends, we just wrap it around our finger like so. Okay, so I'll be back in just a few with the next step. Okay, so now my hair is entirely in two strand twist. It is completed and now I'm going to either sit under a hooded dryer or blow dry it. <laughs> I haven't decided yet, but you can do either or. Um, since I don't have anything to do today, I'll pretty much let them just air dry. But normally I'll sit under a dryer and I'll dry it halfway. And once they're dry halfway, I like to take my duckbill clips and I like to pull my hair up. And this, to me, helps reduce shrinkage. Um, normally when my twists dry, they shrink even more. And so what I do is I leave the bottom row the way it is because when I put duckbill clips on the bottom row and pull them up, then the bottom row seems to be longer and it stretch out and it looks a little uneven for me. So I just like to just start without the bottom row. What I'm doing is just pinning them up with the duckbill clips. And also what I like to use as well to pin them up is a 
are these little snapping hairpins. These work as well too. So the duckbill clips and the snapping hairpins work very well. But one of the things about using these duckbill clips and snapping hairpins is that the hair needs to be partially dry because if it's wet and you sit underneath the dryer, then your twist will have the imprint of the duckbill clip and it will flatten out a section of your twist. So make sure that your twists are dry before you actually put these in. So there, just by pulling them, just a little bit more, we left one out. Because it would be helpful if I had all of my styling utensils on the table. <laughs> just going to pull this up as well too. And so once they're all pulled to the top of my head, I like to pull them even further by either using the duckbill clips or the snapping hair pins. Like so. And that way my twists are stretched. <laughs> No, it looks like a lot of accessories on my hair, but they are nice and stretched now. And so when they dry, they won't shrink. They'll actually remain the length that I stretched them to by using these hairpins. One more. Get one more. Okay. So, this is what it looks like. Okay. So now, I'm going to wait for these to dry and tune in once again for the finished product.